you know, if I fast forward and when I come to America, um, I came to America in um, 1980. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I've been here 38 years, actually, 39 years. And um, in that period of time, I basically originally was looking at using my theme park skills and my jousting skills to help establish a project called Little England in Florida. Okay. And They have uh, a show called Little Britain now, by the yes, way. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah. there's lots of... You know, England is still a little place, but yeah. Little England was the concept of a of a self-made millionaire mm -hmm. called Louis Cartier, and um, he had the idea that you could, you know, a bit like Epcot in a way, you could visit England and know everything about it in one day. Oh, okay, that'd be cool. Yeah. So basically, um, this wasn't just a pipe dream, and this project had already begun before I even got involved in it, but. Um, I came to America initially, believe it or not, as a medieval historian, okay. as a jousting expert, okay. charged to uh, buy the horses and put together a jousting team mm -hmm. to do the to do the project. That was the first. That was the first thing you came here for. Yes, and, he, and then you stayed. Yes, and then I stayed because, and the client I think realized eventually that I got architectural skills. Mm -hmm. And suddenly I was doing kind of drawings that he didn't expect me to be doing. And I became creative director of Little England. Mm -hmm. And we built uh, $14 million worth of, of English village uh, in Kissimmee on a, on a artificial hill mm -hmm. um, as part of stage one of a much, much bigger 50-acre theme park. Okay. And I designed 36 buildings of different periods of style. I designed all the rides and the attractions, and I designed costumes and promotions and publicity and yeah. you name it. And it was really fantastic. But again, sadly, in 1982, interest rates went to uh, 18%. Mm -hmm. and well, they got to a point where the uh, borrowing of the money, we were borrowing 70-odd million dollars, um, the what's called the net warrant investment basically was destroyed by the cost of the cost of the dollar. Yeah. And the project stopped. Right, yeah. That might have been a really cool thing. It, it would have been a very cool thing. And the tragedy was that we were 90% completed in the first phase. It was mm -hmm. actually built. Okay. But the buildings were there, and yeah. they were there for several years while we were trying to figure out what to do with them. And you could have had the Disney, like it's right, it's near Disney, which is where in medieval times is also. Yeah. And yeah, that that location is great. Well, that the keeping within that same theme still goes on because I was later to do King Henry's Feast, which is a, a themed dinner dining theater mm -hmm. um, involving knights on knights fighting nights mm -hmm. and um, that was for Robert Earl who is the guy behind Planet Hollywood so Robert had already known, known what I was doing in England knew what I was doing for Little England so basically I seemed to be the natural person to to design something yeah so I joined HHCP Architects and um, began to work on really big projects and one of the projects was the uh, very first version of Universal Studios here in Florida. And um, uh, in addition <coughs> to be the co-designer of the um, Shamu Stadium, the big killer whale stadium of okay. SeaWorld. It's a great stadium. Which is a great stadium, even though I say it myself, um, it was a stadium entirely built for the whale Mm -hmm. That will be no more because of the of the problem of blackfish and genes and all the other things, the keeping of a giant killer whale mm -hmm. in the care of man. Right, right. So, HHCP, um, I joined in March of eighty two with the with a mandate, mm -hmm. and that was within a year and a half to make the firm international. 
okay. to take it international. Mm -hmm. And as luck would have it, we achieved that with a project in France called the New World of the Smurfs. Okay. And I think you know the Smurfs. So the, the blue guys, yeah. The blue guys. They look like the meanies from the Beatles yeah. movie. And I spoke French, so I got that job speaking French, really, and brought it into the company. And in about a year and a half, we were actually out of the job because they, the clients spent all the money trying to develop the thing under a huge rolling mill, steel rolling mill. But that launched along with um, a project for Disney and the Universal Studios projects and yeah. SeaWorld and the work that I'd already done in Britain. And that launched the division of HACP. Mm -hmm. And I lasted with them for 10 years. And um, by the end of the 10th year, we were working in Japan, working in China, all over the, all over the world. Mm -hmm. 